Hello guys. Welcome back. We are having a good food forest or rather forest. And I think it's good that I share it with you. Okay. This is something that we are striving to make. We have been trying to make this food forest and I think we are on the right path right now. We are on the right direction guys. And I'll tell you why. I will only show you the picture so that we understand, all right? So let us look at our food forest. But by, before we go into that, why do we make food forest? What is food forest? Food forest, the way it's like the way it sounds, forest uh, with food, where you can get different type of fruits and plants and herbs and spices, all right? That is a food forest. And when you create a food forest, you are creating a self-sustainable environment where trees plants herbs spices thrives by themselves all right so you don't need to put much energy except that you need just to work along with the nature to create to make it even more better you enhance and you empower your food forest that is what a food forest are about to uh, is about so you can just sit down and enjoy the food forest sit down enjoy an apple falls down or a passion falls down, you eat, or maybe you can take banana and eat. Okay, so this is our food forest here, all right? Just to begin with, I filmed some trees here, all right? First, I filmed that one. This is Moringa olefera, all right? We know Moringa is very important. It gives you a lot of nourishing, right? That is banana, and we have... No, this is not aloe vera. This is sisal, right? Then you have here banana trunks about six to eight pieces and in the background it's mango tree right so we have mango tree here right and below the mango tree we have a herb this one is a uh, Indian borage right this one is Indian borage it is also called uh, Cuban oregano right this one you can make tea out of it it's very good it's very good for stomach i know the local people around here they told me this is good for if you have stomach uh, problems all right so look how it thrives it grows very very well and it's easy to grow okay indian borage or cuban oregano right and look at that mulch right this one we normally take away the mulch du during the rain season but we do not do for this one and the tree is surviving very well so this one is also i think i should talk about this what we have done here we prune this mango tree and then dropped the, the residue here this is mango tree all this to create an environment where the roots will not get stressed and we are getting more and more manure when the more it decomposes the more manure we're getting similarly if you look here you see all this is manure so this place will always stay healthy and fertilized now the next tree is carambola or known as star fruit but we have not got any fruit yet we are waiting for for it we have to be Sometimes you have to be patient, you know, you have to calm down and just wait. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to, uh, to stress everything. And then here we have papaya. All right, look at this papaya. The trunk is very, very thin. Look, just like that. But boom. One, two, three, four, five. All right? In my size, in my stomach size, all right? And then we have another papaya tree here coming along then we have sour soap that one there sour soap and then you have these are uh, uh, sugar cane coming along and then most of the time i forgot i forget this tree i know it's called a uh, cucumber something cucumber but this is a uh, bilimbi all right very sour we do some pickles i think I saw some pickle here. Let let me look there. I think this is pickle for meat. You 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 can make pickle from bilimbi. Just wait a minute. All right, guys. So this is the the bilimbi that I was talking about. All right, we do pickle. This is pickle. It's 
there we have another one there and the third one there untiani ndani ndiri mbani bo pilipili mbuzi okay pilipili mbuzi all right so she added bilimbi and uh, pepper i think it's jalapeno una pilipili mbuzi hapo ile ziko kuna mti uko wapi kuna mti yeah let him one and one yeah i i asked him to bring that the, the chili the, the chili here is very very hot my friend okay sorry guys i had to show to show you so this out of this bilimbi we make pickles I, it's it's known all over the world so what she did that young lady uh that uh, sorry guys i was looking if the video was rolling this is poor man's camera relax guy she mixed pickles this one uh, bilimbi and uh, chili and that chili is very hot i don't know how she managed to eat that one i don't eat chili but it's wonderful that some other people eat chili so this is the one that i'm talking about this is uh, bilimbi it is called I think something cucumber pickle or cucumber something. You can write it down. It's called cucumber something. So this is the the chili is coming there. Ah okay, sina kwa nyekundu ile. All right, all right. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this is the one here. This is the chili I was talking about. It's very very hot. I think it is a jalapeno or something like that. Okay, sana sana. All right. So let us move on. We have seen this papaya here with one and then sour soap we have seen then we have another so just look here we have bananas uh, coconuts coming along moringa olefera we have another papaya here little one and then we have here now this is wonderful look at that this is crazy man we have banana and coconut growing together they're coexisting and then the bigger one is moringa and then we have we have passion here look at that whoa man look this a big passion look look at that you know it's like bigger than a tennis ball look at that one this is a little bit big, uh, smaller all right so we have passion here so we have combined so many things here Oh look. Okay. So we have a combination of various trees here. In just this little area, we have moringa, banana, coconut. We have uh, passion trees there coming with passions. That's fantastic, man. That's fantastic. So the 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 idea here is when we are making a uh, food forest is like you don't need to put a lot of time and energy you do some things and then the environment these trees they are taking care of themselves when the rain comes it does not evaporate very fast because there's no direct sunlight and the, when the sunlight the sunlight comes look down here you see the sunshine is coming in all right so all these trees they get enough sunshine to make photosynthesis and they get enough water and when they drop these leaves you get organic manure so they like replenish the organic manure by itself all right so here we have not done so much but we are going to to put more plants here to create uh, like a little bit shadow but the sun should be able to come in all right now this is tricantera we have four of them we are going to make mulch for them one that is one there two three four and then after the mulch we plant papaya here here to make more uh, dynamic you know mixture of everything in this area here look at that beautiful we have banana trees here we have uh, moringa banana moringa moringa and then we have bananas here now uh, about banana if you ask me for an advice I will tell you plant as many bananas as possible because bananas they they contain a lot of water 
So during the dry spell, when you harvest the banana, you chop down the, tr the trunk and you use it as a mulch. Very good, right? That is water, pure water. Now, another thing, if you want, let's say, I'll show you a very good example. This banana here, when you, you have them in that way, they'll, they'll make it through the dry spell. They'll not die because the roots are uh, protected from the leaves. It does not leave a lot of uh, sunshine there. So and meanwhile, you'll get new saplings. So this is a new sapling here, number one, you see? So this one, you can plant it. If you don't want, let me see. Any new sapling here? There's a new sapling there. Look at that one. This is a new sapling. So if you leave banana in this style, then you'll be, you'll be getting new sapling every time, all right? That is a new sapling coming there. And then you have this one here. This is a sapling, that is a sapling, that is a sapling there, and then there's another one there, all right? So this is another way to make your banana plant survive the dry spell. Now I'm talking in the context of my country. We have two rain season, the longer rain, short rain. After the short rain that we have right now, no, after the long rain that we have right now, yeah, yeah, no, now we're having short rains, yeah. After this short rain, before we jump into the long rain, we have dry spell and many farmers are really really suffering because they don't know how to make this a dynamic environment which is simple which is self-sustainable which is easy to work on we don't put energy here but we work along with the nature okay so i'll continue here you see this is the environment that i, I love to do all right i just want to have a lot of residue look here you walk here this is like you're having you're having a, a mat, you know. Look at that. See. See? This is wonderful here. Now, look, look at that. There's an insect that is running there. Look. See? Those are insects. Those are working for us. Look at that. Hmm. My friend. This one. It's smelling healthy, really. All right, I'll take it back and then I'll cover it there. I know I've just destroyed the whole village under there. So our, ban our food forest is coming along very well. This is custard apple and nona muricata. Oh, we have two here coming. All right, this one here. And then jackfruit. Now jackfruit, it is one of the plants that we have planted and we are really, really looking forward to see them giving us fruit. Okay, so jackfruit and then we have bananas here, coconut. That is just a forest tree. There's nothing. And we have spoken about the anona muricata or the custard apple. This one is another type of uh, bilimbi. It's a uh, it's like round like that. I don't remember the name. Round. It's like, you can imagine it's like pumpkin. Like that, but little. Green, sour also. Very good. Okay, so the, our, 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 our food forest ends here. Okay, it ends here. This is what we have tried to, to create. And we are going to, pr to plant more trees. Right, more trees are to come here. If I move this way here, then we have... Uh, this is forest guys, this is uh, cassava or tapioca and then sour soap and so this is another segment, right? But we're gonna we're gonna combine this one here and that one here, okay? So I have now spoken about what is food forest, what type of plants you can find in food forest, the advantage of food forest, okay? The advantage is simple. When you start it, once you start it, it takes care of itself, right? Simple, simply because there's no, a lot of direct sunlight, the soil is not bare, you have a lot of residue, it's like you're walking on a mat, all right? So uh, another advantage is you can be harvesting continuously, right? And it is not difficult to create a, a food forest, not difficult at all, right? So thank you for watching. 
uh, don't forget to subscribe so that uh, when we have more important videos like this you will get notification don't forget to press the like button don't forget to share this video and please most importantly if you have a question an idea or recommendation don't hesitate it write it down there right we're waiting for it okay thank you so much stay cool stay calm stay healthy bye bye <laughs> oh yeah